hey there. What are you guys doing? I'm just installing some uh, floor in my room along with some trim around the edge. You know, when I think about it, this does involve a lot of math. The two things I needed to find in order to be able to do this project were perimeter and area. Watch and I'll tell you how to find each of those. So the first part of this project is taking this trim and putting it along the outside of the room. In order to do that, I knew that I needed to find the perimeter of the room. So basically what I did was I took a tape measure and I started to measure along each wall of the room. Watch and I'll show you exactly how I did that. So to find the perimeter of my room downstairs so that I could lay down that trim, basically what I did is first I drew a picture of my room, which you can see here. And what I did was I took my um, tape measure and I measured all around the room. I measured every single side. And you could do that in feet, you could do that in yards, you could do that in inches, any, any of those would work. Um, and basically what I did was after I got all those numbers, I took every single one of them and I added them all together and that gave me my total. And again, that could be in feet, yards. Um, in this case, I would probably do it in either feet or inches, but any of those would work. So that is how you find perimeter. And that's important in this case because I needed to lay the trim around my room. The other thing I needed to do was I needed to find how much space there was on the rest of the floor, all of the inside. To, so to do that, I drew a little diagram of the room, and I'll show you in a second how I split the room up into rectangles. Um, the reason for that is I needed to see how much flooring would fit in the room. Watch and I'll show you how to do that. So in order to figure out how much floor there was in my room, I again drew my diagram. Um, and the easiest way for me to do it was to split the room up into rectangles. So what I did was I cut off these little pieces right here. And as you can see right here in the center of the room, we have a large rectangle. Now if you remember how to find um, the area, the inside, how much space is on the inside of a shape, what we would basically need to do is to figure out this right here, which would be our length. And we would also need to figure out this here, which would be our width. Remember to find the area of a rectangle. What you do is you take the length times the width, and that finds you the area. Um, one thing to remember about area is that when we find the area, if we measured these, um, if we measured these sides here and here in feet, remember that our answer is always going to have units of square feet because we're trying to figure out how many squares that are one foot by one foot would fit inside that room. And basically what I would have to do is split the whole room up into those different rectangles and then I could add all those together and find the area of my room. And that would tell me how much floor space there was so I would know how much floor I would need to buy for the room. So just by finding the perimeter and the area of a room, I did this giant project to lay down a whole new floor. Check back in a couple of weeks, and I'll show you what the project looks like. Thanks, guys. See you later.